And welcome back to Let's Play Okami for the Wii. Last time we uh, took out a boulder, mainly. Yeah, exciting. And we got a mission to try to get to those thingies. I don't know how to do that, so I did some research off screen. And by research, I meant, I mean actually just physically walking around. And I couldn't find anything, so we're just gonna go down this path. I mean, maybe we need an ability, I don't know, but for now. Let's just keep moving on. Shinshu Field. That does not look good. Huh? You probably know this already, Yami, but this here is Shinshu Field, the most beautiful field in Nippon. At least it's supposed to be, but ever since that incident, I've been getting a bad vibe. We better watch where we're going. You can look at the map by holding down the 1 button. Let's pay attention to the map as we push ahead. Uh, I got this far. I skipped cutscenes, though. Um... So it's telling me to go up there, I think. Um, I mean, that's the first guardian sapling marked on our map. It's supposed to be a place for, for travelers to rest and recuperate, but just look at it. It looks like it could fall over at any moment. This place is definitely cursed from the looks of it. Places where evil has taken hold, luring monsters from far and wide. I know it's cursed stones. I've never seen one this big. It's all withered. It's withered all the plant life in the area, even that big tree. It'd take a monster with powers beyond even a god to do this. That tree is an offshoot of Sakuya, protects nature in the area. Maybe the natural beauty here would return if we revived it. But how the heck would we do that anyway? That is a very good question. Um, I'm assuming those are random encounters, essentially, of sorts. Except they're not random because, well, we can see them. Uh, hello, Mr. No Color. Another statue. Has everyone turned to stone? They must have been struck by some terrible curse. The only way to help them is to rid this cursed zone of evil. And how do we do that? When you look at that, Ami, the sky and the sapling is a wreck. So that's why Saki is hurting so bad. But the natural beauty would return if you revive that tree. But how could you possibly do something like that? You need a special power that can make a withered tree bloom. Sounds like a challenge. Okay. Oops. Hold a cow, this is bad. It looks like the regular old cursed zone back there. The evil here is far worse close up. It would curse a normal person a flash. I'm afraid it might even rob you of your power. Let's not, okay? Yeah, let's not. It doesn't even look like a cursed zone from the map. Um, obviously there's this other circle, so let's just go to that other circle. Good plan. What just happened? I was out here chopping wood and communing with nature as usual, when I heard a loud rumbling from an earthquake from the lake. Like an earthquake. Then a huge gust of wind blew up out of nowhere. I don't know what happened next, but when it came to, it was like this. My art workshop was just across the stream here, but it up and vanished when this curse zone appeared. The earth must be angry. All I want is to live in- to All I want is to live with nature in peace, man. Now I can't. I noticed a figure running from the lake towards Kamiki. Whoever it was, man, I hope Mother Earth kept him safe. Huh. What's up, nature buddy? Curious about that cave? It's the entrance to a place called Hana Valley. The site of an amazing waterfall, but monsters have moved in now. There's a trippy crystal ball that makes plants grow and shrine there. I think gardeners would be flocking here for it. Actually, not long ago, that Susano guy went marching in there. That's weird. Normally, he runs away at the side of monsters, and he hardly seems the type to try his hand at gardening. Anyway, it's bad karma, man. Could be attacked if you went in. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Don't care about- oh, ew. Okay, that's not good. Note self, stay away from rivers in this current state. So obviously we need to get the little crystal orb thingy that he was talking about. Hana Valley. Yuck. Okay, we got a save point, so might as well save, I suppose. Except, why are we saving? We just started the video. Um, but sure. Yeah, there's no point. Because if there's a problem with the video, I'll just have to restart from the previous save anyway. So, moving on. This is probably not a stray bead, as much as I want it to be. Traveler's Charm. Protects travelers from danger. Increases god hit by level 1. By one level. Okay. Um, uh, wait, what? You're unable, unable to change it, okay. Uh, where would you... Where would you equip something like that? Hmm. 
Okay, apparently we can't equip it. Or maybe here? I, I'm, I don't want to use that. I want to look up what it does first. Just to be on the safe side. Oh, bonfire. And the fight. So just take them all out. That, and... Um... Uh, apparently this guy's block I discovered off screen, so you have to like do a swipe at them with the brush in order to sort of get them to lower their guard. Um, there we go. And camera's not cooperating here. And the Wiimote isn't cooperating here. Okay, he's dead. Let's see, that or is he already gone? It's hard to tell if an enemy's already dead. That's the problem I'm having. Ow. Okay, this combat's definitely taking a little bit of time to get used to, just because it's not that conventional. Um, what just happened? <laughs> so, that seemed to do absolutely nothing. Huh? We got rid of the monster, so why did the god's power disappear? Guess the curse of the gods of these lands must be really strong. They can't intervene until we do something about the stagnant air. Okay, that's not good. Keep on trekking then. Uh, I'm gonna- oh. Hey, check out that tree, it's moving. Better be careful, Ami. What if I- oh, apparently it's not an enemy, per se. This is do some, some food at us. Show some- show me mean business, try to hit the street back at it. Draw one quick stroke to hit the fruit, you remember how, don't ya? Okay, let's try this. Uh, there we go. Like that? Aha! Look, you stun it with its own fruit. Let's pass on by this creepy old tree while we can. Oh boy. This is gonna be a thing. Um, let's not bother stunning these. This feels like a waste of time. So there's another guardian tree over there, and a, another save point. Seems like overkill, but okay. What the heck is that? And there's just snow. Cool. And another boulder, so we'll probably need our help again. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, uh enemy type? New enemy type. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Whatever he does. So, obviously, timing is of the essence. Safe to say. Um. Oh wow, I guess I can actually stun them by doing that, when they're not weakened and staggered. Good to know. Good to know. I'm gonna take out those guys first, just because that'll be easier for me in the future, I think. Um, oh, camera. <laughs> okay, so stunning them is actually a good strategy, it seems. Um, this combat's just not that fun. Carpal Tunnel for the win. Okay. Yeah, so it seems like when they're gray, they take more damage? Maybe? I don't know. I'm just kind of guessing at this point. Um, but that's what it feels like. I don't know what the symbol on the bottom left means, either. But we need to defeat the monsters, so let's, let's see what Susan is up to. Um, or not. Okay, that happened. Huh? What's all that racket? Oh, it's you, Mutt. What are you doing here? Go home, I already told you I'm not looking for apprentices. Anyway, Hana Valley is no place for a Mutt like you. Beyond this point lies my secret training ground. It's the perfect place to hide... Um, I mean, to train. Now, Scoot, be off with ya. Oh boy. You can't even get to a secret training ground. It's pathetic. That's strange. I know there's a way through around here. Huh, what do you want? I already told you, be off with ya. Um... Oh, what's that bouncing thing? Wow, check out all the- check out that wall painting. It said that a crystal sphere that makes trees grow is enshrined so, somewhere around here. 
Based on this painting here, I'd say the rumor must be true. So something's not right. Don't you think there's something missing from this painting? Is it the orb itself? Or the sun? Hey, I did the right thing by total accident. <laughs> cool. Oh, that does not look good. What in heaven's name? How did that happen? Well, now I can go hide. Uh, I mean, now I can go train. Wow, he's useless. Okay. What is that bouncing thing? Like, I don't know. It just feels like it's significant somehow, but I don't know how. Was that Eason telling me that's important? Is this Eason basically like being like Navi in this case, which is showing me what to do, kind of? Oh ho, there's a uh sight for sore eyes. That's the expression I'm looking for. What a strange place. Is this really the secret training ground Susano mentioned? Speaking of which, where did the pops go anyway? Obviously this is important. Somehow, what does this say? Sacred Tree Cherry Cascade. I haven't seen anything remotely like a sacred tree around here. Hmm... What is this? What's up with this tiny sapling? Huh. A small faint scent like sake is coming from the sapling. Is this actually the thing? This is actually the thing. Okay. Not supposed to dig. No, wait, wait, don't go digging up everything you see for a ball. Can't you tell this is something important? What is a headbutt your what is a headbutt your solution to everything? What if I do this? I said, what if I do this? I said Uh Huh, okay, that's not the ticket. Maybe I have to do something from up here, perhaps. I see. I totally skipped that. It's for worshipping the sun that shines up there in the valley. Gee, that sounds like a hint. Uh, I will be amazed if that actually works. It actually works. Okay. Um, huh, I bet something will happen if we can get this just right. I know this room's hiding some kind of secret. So I didn't do it right, in other words? Or did my- was my pos- oh, I see. You have to position it right, probably. Um... Like... Like... I don't, I don't know, wow, okay, this- this is interesting. Camera's not digging it, though. What's over here, actually? What's up with this puddle? Looks pretty chintzy for what's supposed to be a grand altar. But there's- there used to be something on here. So drawing the sun doesn't actually do anything for us because it's not positioned right. So I need to see where this beam goes. Huh, I bet something will happen if we can get this just right. Okay. Aha! Can I move this? No. Hmm. So we need to use the sun to do to shine on the plant. So it can grow. Maybe the monster's evil is keeping us power at bay. Um, if I can get up here, that would help. But I don't think that's possible. And drawing here doesn't seem to actually do anything. Uh, yeah, unless it's a matter of getting the angle right. But it seems to point at the same spot every time. To this little pedestal. Um... Maybe I need to stand here? And do this? It's like standing in the light because I have this mirror weapon. So maybe if it hits a mirror, something will happen? I don't know. Huh? I bet- okay. Hmm. This hint is not helping at all. You soon. Thanks. A lot. Okay. What if I draw it up there? Wow, camera. It's not cooperating. Um, hmm. There's actually stuff over here. Can I get through here? I can. So there's a save point, which is good for me. Uh, and this is Susano's training ground. 
Ah. Uh, what now? You, you foul beast, how did you get in here? Foul beast? That's a bear. That's not a foul beast. Bear with a snot bubble. You have some nerve sneaking into my private training ground. Now you shall get a taste of my new secret technique. Your foul, your foul beast looks like an ordinary sleepy bear to me, Pops. Enough talk, my blade thirsts for battle. Here goes nothing, Susano style, Susano. Okay. Saw. No. Uh. There we go. <laughs> Susano. Okay. This guy going overboard. Now for Susano style. Exploding implosion. Oops. Um, okay. I said just no style, exploding implosion. Maybe I have to hit this like snot bubble or something. Yeah, this isn't working. <laughs> I think he's losing his nerve. Uh, losing! Um, typo. Yeah, exploding implosion. Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to be. Oh, there we go. Loosing, yeah, that's a thing. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Wow, you knocked over a bear. I'll teach you, you foolish beast. You're no match for my new secret technique. Oh. <clears throat> um. Rest in peace, foul beast. The great warrior Susano condemns the offense, not the offender. Anyway, there are other monsters I must deal with. Ahahaha! <laughs> Head tilt. Gee, I wonder what we have to do now. But I don't know if there's gonna be another long, long cutscene. So, I think we're gonna continue next time. Thank, thank you, no, thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more Okami for the Wii.